Welcome to the Long Road, Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? We're actually going to do a price comparison video. We uh, did one back in February of 2021. Man, time's flying. Um, that where we actually shared the prices. So we're going to show what it would cost us today if we bought that exact same haul. All right, let's get to it. When we did our video in February of 2021, Bimbo's bread was $1.98 and it's still $1.98. So this would be the exact same price that we spent last year on one pack of those. Okay, so last year we bought the chocolate flavor of this, I think, and it was $2.77. So that was an increase from $2.77 to $3.24. Okay, so last year when we we were buying the the big 48 can uh 48 pop tart container and it was nine dollars and nine dollars and 38 cents and now it's ten dollars and 73 cents so that's a pretty hefty increase all right but what we have learned since then is that our son likes these right here and they're only a dollar and 50 cents for the whole box, way, way cheaper than this bulk size. And he still really loves them. So give generics a chance. Last year we bought some coriander for $3.97. So there's been no price change in the great value organic spices. So that is still a pretty good deal. And last year we bought some paprika for 98 cents and it's still 98 cents for all these sizes right here. Okay. Last year we bought this, it was, a. 98 cents it's now a dollar 32 but what we found is that we buy the generic now for no, that's no salt added for only 54 cents okay last year when we bought this 10 count it was 288 for the 10. um this price for the 20 is the same but if you bought two of these it would still be a penny cheaper than that one Okay, last year I bought Urban Farmer. I'll put it on the screen. As you can see, it's just not fair on our, on our shelves anymore. They, it's been pretty much taken over by Quest. Um, it was $6.48 and it looks like everything here is about $7 and something. So I'm assuming it would be about that price. Okay, so $4.98, that's the only deal I see on it but it looks like it's about the same price, $4.98. So it's exactly $1 per bag. It was $8.78, that's $10.44. So that's quite an increase. You can buy them in the generic for $8.98. Okay, last year we bought bananas here. We bought three. They cost us 55 cents total for the three. If we, we went and weighed these, and if we did them at 64 cents, per pound, it would cost us 72 cents for three bananas. It's an inexact science because we don't know what it weighed last year, but that's as close as we can get was, it would be an increase of about 17 cents. Okay, and I remember from our video that time, we bought these because it was the only ones we could find. They were completely out, but this is definitely a convenience item and you're paying a lot for it. It was $2.48 back then and it's $2.88 now. So these were 23 cents each last year and now they're 48 cents each. Okay, so about 20 cents for this Roma tomato because it's 98 cents per pound. Yeah, I know it, but if it's almost a dollar per pound, it's gonna be about 19 or 20 cents for that Roma tomato last year, we spent 26 cents. Again, this is an inexact science because we do not know how much this Roma tomato that we bought last year actually weighed, but it must have been pretty close to the same thing. Avocados are $1.28 each now. They were 58 cents last year. This is one of those where you're actually getting a better deal this year. We bought this, a five ounce container of baby spinach and it was three dollars and 46 cents and now it's only 2.98 so there you go all right unfortunately they're not running any kind of deal right now on the five pound mandarin bags because seven dollars and 48 cents that's two dollars more than last year yeah. thank you 
Okay, and we bought one red, red bell pepper. It was $1.38 each last year, and now it's $1.42 each. Last year, we bought one bunch of cilantro. It was $0.88 cents per bunch. No, no, 70. 70. It was $0.78 cents per bunch, and now it's $0.88 cents per bunch. All right, so there you have it. That's our price comparison from a year ago. And um, like we said, last year we sent, spent $61.38. Uh, this year we would have spent sixty nine dollars and ninety three cents if we had purchased if we had purchased the exact same thing this year that we purchased last year. Right. And that is um, thirteen point nine three percent increase uh, over last year. Here are some of the big takeaways that we hope that you got from it. And again, during the video, we put some of these t tips or some of these takeaways on the screen while we were actually talking about the item, but. There's one that was a huge thing that yeah. you noticed. Right, yeah. Most of the things that we bought last year that that increased over this year were the convenience items, like Pop-Tarts or, uh, I hate to say it, but my uh, chocolate creamer for my coffee, um, things like that. Uh, uh, most of our- Totino's pizza rolls? Yeah, Totino's pizza rolls. Uh, um, yeast rolls went up a little bit. Um, Urban Farmer Pizza went up. Uh, so most of the, the convenience items, if you can stay away from the convenience items, what, what you may see is that uh, your grocery bill either stay level or come down a little bit, uh, and you won't see as big of increase yeah. uh, as you would uh, if you did continue to buy those convenience items. And I right. think that's one thing we're seeing now in our, uh, in our grocery hauls, the reason we're keeping it level or even less is that we're not buying those things anymore. Yeah, or that's true. we're buying them less. Yeah, that's right. Like one thing is like the Totino's pizza rolls, like we mentioned, um, that it went up a bunch. I don't remember what the exact amount was. Do you? Yeah, it went up a uh, dollar and uh, sixty-six cents. Okay, it's a dollar sixty-six. But anyway, what uh, our son is currently doing right now is he is making French bread pizzas himself. He, yep. We are buying a dollar. French bread, if you can buy one off the of clearance rack, you can get it even cheaper than that. Yep. And he just cut it into small pieces and he makes one every day for lunch. And he just puts a little pasta, uh, pasta sauce. He doesn't even buy pizza sauce. He uses marinara, which is cheaper. Yep. Uses a little cheese and a little pepperoni, throws it in the oven, and Dang. he has a nice hot one as opposed to Totino's pizza rolls that Scalding kind of hot on the outside and arctic circle on the inside. <laughs> exactly. So that's something to consider. That may be convenient to make Totino's pizza rolls, but they are not cheap. Yep. <laughs> so um, if you can stay away from those convenience items, you'll have done yourself. Save, uh, you'll probably have saved some a decent amount of money. Yep. Uh, and that will help you keep your grocery spending down. Um, we make more stuff from scratch. Yep. Uh, we're also doing the math more than we did then. Yep. Like uh, we've gotten even better um, at it. And um, it doesn't take that long once you get used to actually price comparing and understanding that the stores aren't necessarily putting the prices in a clear manner on their um, stickers because they want you to be confused by them. They want you to buy the wrong thing because it's going to give them a higher profit. Yep. So when you start figuring out those things and you start doing your math yourself and you start making some things from scratch um, and you don't buy as many convenience items, uh, one thing that it would be a huge savings for us this year over last year was we bought um, an urban farmer pizza that was for me and uh, I bought it for myself to eat and I would eat it for like that plus a couple of lunches after and it was six dollars and fifty cents and I'm not doing that anymore instead when they uh, it, when they have pizza either I eat pizza with them or I eat a salad or like avocado toast or something like that instead of buying something that was pre-packaged and made for me I'm, I'm just eating something I already have. Yep. Um, another, and that, then there was also a veggies made easy. They were little muffins. Um, and I think in memory serves me right, I bought that last year because I had an Ibotta rebate on it. 
And so I'm not doing as many try something new things this year. Instead, I'm doing trying new salad every month or something like that instead of convincing myself that since I have an I bought a rebate for it, I can uh, use that as a try something new, which may save, may get me a dollar or two dollar rebate back, but I spent two or three dollars to get that, mm -hmm. um, that I don't get back. So, Cause it's like almost five dollars, right? Yep. So, you know, and it was five dollars last year. Yep. Yeah. So if I had a $2 rebate last year and I used it as a try something new and said it was cool because I get $2 back, I still spent three. Yep. So that's another thing that we're not, we're not using Ibotta that way anymore. After I make a grocery list, I go through, if I find something on Ibotta that will, we're already buying, then I'll buy it. But I don't buy something just because there's a rebate attached to it. Yep. So. Um, that's the quick fast tips there's more if you check out a, our playlist of budget and saving tips or doing the math challenge I'll have them all down in the description any of those playlists they will give you tons of tips be sure to check those out all right all right so drop us a comment below and let us know how your grocery hauls are going how your prices are increasing or not or uh, if you've seen uh, even higher increases than that than what we've seen if you uh, have a tip that we didn't yeah, mention. Yeah, if you have a tip that, that we didn't mention, then we'd love to know that as well. Uh, share it with everyone uh, because uh, sharing is caring and um, it's that's all right. good when we share information. That's so, right. All right. So I think that's going to do it today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes on the weekend, sometimes in between. Just kind of never know when we'll drop one in there. Mm -hmm. That said, I think that's going to do it today for the long run. Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. I'm Christy. And don't forget, it's the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.